Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to five American animals versus five European animals. Who would win? This is my exact video, man. This is the sort of stuff that I want to react to and I would I'd probably just watch this sort of content all day long. But I guess it's gonna have like similar comparisons to like the US black bear and then another one in the in Europe. I'm not sure. And also in terms of European animals, I think probably about eighty percent of them will be based in Russia because I feel like that's where a lot of the strong animals or just animals that are more i don't know compete in a fight or whatever I, don't, I really don't know to be honest i'm just going to assume a lot of them are from russia because it's such a big country because i don't really know what like what animals really are in europe you've got like bears again in russia and maybe certain regions of europe as well and other than that i can't really think like snakes is there snakes in europe i don't know but um we're going to check this out. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy. Links are in the description to my Patreon if you want to see some reactions that I can't post. I've recently reacted to the second Back to the Future. I'm going to do the third Back to the Future soon, but I'm going to have to do other reactions before that. But if you want to see some film reactions and stuff, links are in the description to that. And yeah, we're going to just check this out and see. Also, this has quite a lot of dislikes, so maybe people get triggered over flipping animal comparisons. All oh, the videos just dumb or something. I don't know, but people are getting triggered by animal comparisons. I'm done, man. <laughs> it's just like, come on. Although oh, North America and Europe have an ocean between them, they both have species that are closely related to each other. This is because North America used to be connected to Asia and Europe through the Bering Land Bridge. Many different species could travel across this area freely, and this is just one of the many reasons why North American animals and European animals are closely related to each other. In this video, I will be comparing okay. animals from both of these areas and estimating which one would win in a fight. I'll be going through five species from Europe and five species from North America. If this is really why people have got triggered, I'm done, man. <laughs> Come on, it's just a flipping silly little video. Yeah. And we'll start off with the European badger. The badger. striking. I've never seen a badger before, which is quite a surprise because I feel like they are a very European or even British animal. Creature is native to almost all of Europe and has a very large stable population. Because of the lack of large animals in the UK, the European badger is actually the UK's largest land predator and is one of the best well-known British species. In the wild, they live an omnivorous lifestyle, both taking a liking to plant matter and small creatures. During the day, badgers mostly spend their time underground in their burrows, which are called sets. Although some European badgers like to spend their life on their own, most European badgers are social animals. They can live in groups of up to 25 members, but their social behaviour is largely dictated by the availability of food. But this striking mammal also has a North American counterpart, the American badger. Even though this species That's a chunky ass badger. has a similar appearance to the European badger, they are not closely related. It's the adorable. American badger is known for being a little meaner than the European- Yeah, this one looks a bit more like a- not a dog, but like it's a lot bigger, it's like probably- fight much bigger animals in badger and lives a more solitary lifestyle they live life slightly on the more carnivorous side and predominantly feed on smaller mammals such as gophers squirrels and prairie dogs because Damn. of this diet they're found in more open areas and are typically found around grasslands and prairies to be able to get at their prey they are impressive diggers and spend most of their time looking for burrows of small animals but even Damn. though the american badger has a very mean reputation they are slightly smaller than the european badgers as the european smaller Oh, it looks it looks a lot wider, but maybe it's just that's just what sort of makes it look bigger. The badger can reach a length of around a meter and weighs 17 kilograms, whereas the American badger maxes out at around 75 centimeters with a weight of 15 kilograms. So for big. this round, I think it's one nil for the European Come creatures. On. But our next creature is the Eurasian otter. Now, this semi-aquatic mammal is native to large parts of Eurasia and is the most widely distributed member of the otter subfamily. These otters have webbed feet, and this makes them impressive swimmers. They can mostly be found. In in fresh waters. I love otters, man. Whenever I see them at like a zoo, they're so cute. They like they're the ones that squeak, right? And they they get really excited when they see humans, or at least the ones that I saw. And then when we went, they were like crying that we will that we went and left them, but they are adorable. Where they're usually seen munching on fish. Although they're mostly seen as freshwater animals, the Eurasian otter can be found on the coast, where it's more Damn. than happy to try a bit of seafood. In many parts of Europe, it is the top freshwater predator, but in recent years, it's had more competition. The American mink is invasive over large parts of Europe, and in most cases, directly competes with the Eurasian otter. This, along with habitat loss, overfishing, and hunting, have led to this otter being threatened in some areas. Luckily for these otters, they are much-loved creatures, and many people are dedicated to helping them. Unfortunately, this wasn't the case for the extinct Japanese otter, which was considered to be a subspecies of the Eurasian otter. Damn, this otter is a... Well, I guess the US otter is just a different level then. 
I mean, we're just seeing that it's just wiping out other other breeds. But as I'm sure many of you know, there is also a famous otter in North America named the North American River Otter. Now, this otter only lives on the North American continent, but lives a very similar lifestyle to the Eurasian otter. They have slightly more to choose from when it comes to food in North America, because as well as fish, they are also known to take down large numbers of turtles and crayfish. These otters are known for being extremely playful, and juveniles can often be seen chasing each other. Although this may look like just fun, it helps them improve their skills of catching fish. Now, it can be very hard to tell these two otter species apart. The North American river otter has a shorter neck and generally has a longer tail compared to its body. The Eurasian otter is the only otter in much of its range and also tends to be a little larger. They can reach a maximum length of around 1.4 meters and reach a maximum weight of around 24 kilograms. The American river otter on the other hand has a maximum length of around 1.1 meters and maxes out at around 15 kilograms. So although both these animals are very lovable, that now makes it 2 nil to Europe. But our next Damn. two species are both the Eurasian brown bear and the grizzly bear Eura <laughs> i mean so the eurasian brown bear europe Let's see that. this looks obviously it's a bear it's a scary it's a scary thing right species are both the eurasian brown bear and the grizzly but look at this fucker flipping hell that is a fucking sight to behold isn't it grizzly bear the eurasian brown bear is the most common subspecies of brown bear and is found throughout much of eurasia they feed on a wide range of foods eating various different types of plant matter such as berries and also targeting the largest mammals and fish their size and power makes them very dangerous and it's best to keep your distance from these bears in north america an average of two people a year are killed by bears in scandinavia there's only been three fatalities from bear attacks in the last century which makes it seem like wow. Eurasian brown bears are less aggressive. Unfortunately, the truth is not as simple as this, as many other factors affect the frequency of bear attacks. In Romania in late 2019, brown bear- Romania? Romania's afraid to step outside as they- what? Bears were responsible for killing three men in just over a month. The cause of these attacks are sometimes desperation, because when we decrease the habitat of these bears, there's less food to go around, and they are forced into highly populated areas. But famously, this bear also has a North American cousin, the grizzly bear. Although grizzly bears are known for being fearsome predators, some grizzlies can be surprisingly small. On the eastern slopes of Alberta, some adult grizzlies are known to be even smaller than black bears. They vary in size from area to area, mostly due down to competition and food of availability. But when it comes down to maximum sizes, the grizzly bear can grow a lot larger than the Eurasian brown bear, as the European bears max out around 2.5 meters and weigh 480 kilograms, whereas the grizzly bears can reach a height of around 2.7 meters and weigh 770 kilograms. Oh my so, God. Don't call it a comeback. But North America has clawed one back. But our next two animals are both the U Why is the US flag for North America? <laughs> I'm so confused. European bison and the American bison. Now I've been through- <laughs> They look exactly the same, just different color. Both of these creatures many times on this channel before, as they're not only very similar in appearance, but throughout their history they've had a very similar story. During the early years of the 20th century, European bison were once hunted to near extinction. They were only saved because they had small captive populations, and these populations were bred and then released back into the wild. This bison is the heaviest wild land animal in Europe and is only ever wow. targeted by the largest of predators. In most cases, these predators were humans, wolves, and bears, but the two latter species are now rare in most of their distribution. The only other living species of bison in the world is found in North America and is definitely the more famous of the bison species. It's one of the most iconic animals of America's grasslands, but just like the European bison, it was once threatened with extinction. A combination of commercial hunting and slaughter in the 19th century, along with the introduction of bovine disease almost wiped out these iconic mammals. They had a population of around 60 million in the late 18th century, but the species was down to just 541 animals in 1889. This is one Jesus. of the most devastating wild animal slaughters in the whole of human history, but luckily today they have made a comeback. Now both of these giants are very similar in size, with the European bison being slightly taller at the shoulder with a height of around 2.1 meters, compared with the American bison's 2 meters. But the American bison can be a lot heavier, with a max weight of around 1,200 kilograms compared to the european bison's 900 how are they judging this weight and height surely there's it's hard to really judge the average height of these animals and each continent and 20 kilograms although the european bison is taller i think the american bison wins this round and it's 2-2 going into the last two animals now there are Dang. eight subspecies of Moose? Is there even any moose in Europe? Moose recognized today. Some of them living in North America and the rest living in Europe and Asia. Moose are the oh, largest and heaviest extant species in the deer family and truly are one of the largest land mammal species alive today. Unlike other species of deer, they tend to live a solitary <laughs> lifestyle. I thought I'd just see this in the UK. Is there any... 
the moose? Oh, how? What's what's the plural term? Meese mooses? <laughs> I don't know. Um, now thanks to what calls have been chosen as the first nature reserve in England. Wait, there are moose in Britain again. Oh, there's not any. I guess they're planning to do it then. Oh, this has been chosen. That's good then. That makes me happy. Because I guess it's, I saw that they used to be like the native in the country. So. And tend to enjoy life in thick forests and around wetland areas. Despite their size, they are impressive swimmers and are very happy in marshes and wetlands. Their size gives them protection against most predators. And even wolves and bears will only really attack juveniles and sick individuals. Predators aren't the biggest threats to moose, as they have a much smaller threat to worry about. Brain worms are parasites contracted from eating snails, and the larvae of these worms find their way to the moose's brain. This causes neurological damage <laughs> and has led to a worrying decline in moose numbers. Oh. Millions of dollars have been poured into helping these animals and hopefully they'll be able to bounce back in the future but oh, when it comes man. down to size the american subspecies tend to be a little larger than the european ones as they can reach a height of around 2.1 meters at the shoulder and weigh 700 kilograms compared to a height at the shoulder of two meters and a weight of 600 kilograms so overall it looks like the american damn species it we lost the battle although again i don't think any of these animals apart from the badger are even in the uk so yeah come back to Actually, otters are but you know i don't think the uk is doing much in terms of animals this round and they've won the competition overall i know this flag doesn't include the whole of north america and this one doesn't really represent europe but it was easier than putting up all the individual flags in this video if you want me to do this stuff fair enough um is it dog leave a like and subscribe doggy um there we go um i love seeing australia versus the world yeah this would be fun man australia would probably smash it to be honest Doing one on two different oceans would be very cool. As far as the bison, as far as bison go, you forgot the wood bison of North America. It's much larger than the plain bison. Is wait, than the plain bison is the la the largest land animal in North America. God damn. Uh, I've got hiccups now, but um, that's a little look into this comparison. I wasn't really surprised that America would win because I mean, in terms of wildlife and animals, it just seems to have everything i just i think that i think yeah i mean actually south america versus australia is an interesting one because australia is australia but south america you've got like the you've obviously got the amazon rainforest and stuff it's fascinating but i mean i hope you enjoy this and obviously africa as well i think any yeah to be fair any country any sort of region sorry i think europe is probably the tamest when you actually think about it i think europe is the tamest in terms of just wildlife in general because asia's got some places where there's some crazy wildlife obviously africa's probably the most well known for like certain animals australia's australia you've got obviously north america which has got all kinds of things and then south america's got all kinds of things as well but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and yeah until next time i subscribe peace